In the short fungo drill, coaches using improper technique often hit the ball so hard that the player has no way to make a play on it. Or they're hitting it with such hard velocity that the player is backing away when he does make the play and it's not really teaching him proper technique. Using good technique, the coach is going to hit the ball in a controlled manner so that the player can work on his fundamentals. As you can see, Jojo here is able to really work on his bent knee approach, his crossover step, getting square to the base he's throwing to. Phase one of the short fungo drill, the coach is going to get on a knee and hit soft balls to the player's right and left. As a follow-up to the backhand glove side drill, the coach is going to work the player laterally. By seeing the ball off the bat, the player is getting higher quality repetitions. So this is a good progression drill after doing the backhand glove side drill. In phase two of the short fungo drill, the coach is going to stand and hit the ball a lot harder, enabling the player to get more realistic game repetitions. As you can see, JoJo's bent knee in his approach. He's fielding the ball with his hands in front of his body. He's coming down with the bare hand like an alligator. In phase three of the short fungo drill, the coach is going to hit fungos to the player and he's going to count the hops. And what you're going to see now is Jojo is going to count how many hops he's going to field the ball on. By counting the hops, it forces the player to really read the ball off the bat. And coaches in this drill can mix in line drives occasionally, which forces the player to also get in good athletic stance to field line drives. I'm going to be hitting game speed balls here, which include one hoppers, two hoppers, line drives, and then occasionally I'm going to mix in a slow roller. And this way, I'm giving him the ultimate in variation as a player, because we know that the beauty of baseball is the unpredictability that comes at you. In the count to hop phase of the drill, JoJo's going to call out loud how many hops he's going to catch the ball on. This forces him to read the ball off the bat more effectively and be aware of the contours of the field. Some fields are harder, some are softer, and this forces him during infield outfield to know where he wants to perhaps catch the ball on the ideal hop. Based on the speed of the base runner, Jojo may change his call. If he feels that the runner is very fast, he may, he may call out one because he knows he's going to have to hurry. If it's a big cleanup hitter that doesn't run well, he may be, have time to catch it on the second or third hop. And then as a coach, it's important that I work in some line drives and some slow rollers so that he can get used to doing any aspect of the game that might come at him in a live situation. That's the short function.